Welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. So in this question, they're asking for the velocity for Harry. They give us a time, which is 34 seconds, and the x1 is negative 13 meters, and the x2 is negative 44 meters. So the only reason this question is, could be somewhat challenging for somebody is because they're making it a little bit more difficult with the negatives. So let's write out the equation for velocity. We have V, or for velocity, is equal to delta x over delta t. So if we rewrite this equation, that gives us velocity is equal to x final minus x initial. Delta anything is always final minus initial over delta time. Now for this question, of course, we know that the, this is the final seconds and the t initial is zero, but since we're starting out with zero, we don't need to worry about that, and t is, delta t is 34 seconds. So now that we have the equation here, we can plug in the numbers, which is velocity is equal to a negative 44 meters, and always write the units with it just to make sure that you're not getting yourself turned around. And the x initial, we started out, from a negative 13 meters, and then we did all of that in 34 seconds. So again, they're just trying to make sure you understand it, but it, the only reason it's confusing is just because you have to keep the negatives straight. So if we're minusing a negative from something, we're essentially adding it. So 44, a negative 44 plus 13, gives us a negative 31. So negative 31 meters in 34 seconds. I've talked about this calculator in another video. This is my favorite calculator for science and many of your math classes. It will save your life, especially in physics. So I have an affiliate link for this calculator in the description below. So if you wanna look at that, it helps this channel out and it will help you out through your science classes as well. So we said that we have negative 31 divided by 34. So the velocity is a negative 0.91 meters per second.